We shall now be heading to the land of the rising sun! Well, virtually anyway, not literally, because that'd be too expensive. Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am, coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe. My voice went kind of off there again, I really gotta stop filming these videos 5 minutes before I get out of bed. Okay everyone, so today's topic is all about PS Vita games that never left Japan. It's for the love of imports. That along with the fact that I kinda need a new video in my import playlist. Or as they call them in Japan, it just games. So I kind of have ulterior motives here. But I'd love to know down in the comment section which games that are imports that you personally love. Be sure to tell me. All right, first game is a title that's all about war, but in a more moe style. Hmm, not very intimidating now, is it? But it is a lot of fun. This is Girls und Panzer for the PlayStation Vita. And before I begin, just wanted to show you guys this. This was actually their promotion over in Japan, their promo image. Ah, man, you just can't get more better than that. Girls und Panzer or Girls and Panzer, I believe, which is the English translation, along with a title that I can't read here, so, uh, here it is, is a tank battle game based on the Girls und Panzer anime, and is developed by Bandai Namco, so you know you're gonna get quality here. The game is a tank battle game, obviously, and will feature characters, locations, and story mode from the teams and schools which appear in the Girls und Panzer anime. Yeah, it seems to make sense, right? The gameplay is similar to Bandai Namco's earlier tank shooter, Tokyo Wars and World of Tanks, which means you'll control a tank and go around a 3D map hunting other tanks down. Wow, hunting things in tanks? Well, I guess whatever gets the job done. Which all have health bars, and a sniper mode is also present. However, of course, there are many new mechanics introduced in this game. Namely, how you can control every tank in a team and switch between them at any time in battle. Oh, but there is much more to this tank battle system than meets the eye. The player will control Aurori's tank and battle other teams in matches similar to the original series. You also get a battle royale. Seemingly, you can choose between 5 tanks if you want from more than 30 available in the game and form a custom team, then participate in battles of your own choice. Options. Beautiful, beautiful options. And while I have still yet to watch the Girls und Panzer anime, anyone else in the comment section actually seen this anime or play this game? I'd love to know just how great a representation the game is from the anime. Oh, and just let it be known that I am extremely jealous that you have seen the anime before me. Eh, you know, on second thought, maybe it's better that you don't tell me that. But despite the fact that I have not yet seen it, the gameplay of this game I absolutely love. It has tight, solid controls, and it just wins a whole ton of brownie points for me just because of how unique it is on the Vita. I mean, we gotta face it here, the PlayStation Vita doesn't have a lot of tank simulator games such as this one, as uh, sad as that is. So, if you're an import Vita collector, just love to play imports, or just love to shoot things up in tanks, because hey, let's face it, who doesn't, then this will satisfy that itch very nicely. You warmonger, you. Still craving the thirst for war, but want something that features less tanks? I suppose that could be a thing with some people? Then look no further than Fantasy Star Nova. It's a game that's uh, is sort of about war. I mean, you beat up uh, defenseless monsters, which are oftentimes not so defenseless, but there's no tanks, um, but you do stuff. Okay, so before everybody clicks off the video because of how terrible that introduction was, let me tell you about the game. Fantasy Star Nova is an action role-playing game released exclusively in Japan for the PlayStation Vita, hence why it's on this list, and was developed by Triace. And you'll find out that there were quite a lot other Fantasy Star games that never made it to the PlayStation Vita. Man, this video is getting depressing already. But uh, before we get too depressed, uh, let's keep going. So for a game such as the Fantasy Star series, at least for me personally, it's not really about the story. I mean, don't get me wrong, there is in fact a story to this game. You take on the role of one of the Star Troopers from the Fantasy Star universe. I don't really know what the name is because, you know, this game is in Japanese. And you crash land on this planet and it's up to you to basically get out of there, or in some cases, with how ferocious these beasts are, get the heck out of there. And although I'm still in the midst of playing this, from what I have heard, it does feature a pretty strong storyline, at least that's the way the game was touted back when it was released in Japan. So if you're looking for a single player experience, this is probably one of the better versions of it. Not that it'll really matter, because you'll probably most likely not understand it, but uh, I digress. And for anyone out there curious about this game's online features, which really is the meat and potatoes of any fan Fantasy Star game. Sadly, they have been since shut down, so if you do plan to pick up this game, which I still highly recommend because it's pretty cheap on eBay, just be aware that you're not going to be able to play online with anybody. 
Whoa, there comes that depression again. But you can still enjoy its pretty engrossing storyline. Now I do know that there is in fact an English fan translation for this game, but I'm not exactly sure how much it translates because I haven't had a chance to check it out myself. But for anyone interested, just know that that is in fact an option if you have a hacked Vita. The combat is a ton of fun in this game and the controls are really smooth. The player is also able to craft weapons through the process of acquiring raw materials. Weapons cannot be obtained via item drops, however. Hunter class players are able to utilize swords and partitions, while force class players can use rods. Piles, a new type of anchor shooter weapon, has also been introduced. These weapons can create weak points on enemies, so that's a pretty nice innovative touch for the series. And hey, what else is there left to say? It's Fantasy Star Online, just without the online, and it's called Nova. And next game. Okay, I kind of ended that game on an odd note, but hopefully this one won't be nearly as confusing. This is Gun Gun Pixies. I'm already confused. Yeah, Moe characters and tanks are going to a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> Sorry, that's copyrighted. Not enough for you? Oh, uh, well, how about a game where you play as tiny little pixie girls uh, shooting up like aliens and trying to defeat giant humans and girls? And they're moe. I, you just can't make this stuff up. Welcome to Japan. So this game's storyline, um, well, it's a thing. And I say that because, well, just it, take a delicious look for yourself. Save the world when their home planet, Pandemo, comes under attack. Usamaru and Kamaruru travel to Earth to study humans and learn enough to save their home world. Oh no, giant girls everywhere. The pixies infiltrate a girl's dormitory where everything is giant, including the girls they've come to study. It's a third person shooter with a twist. Your weapons are loaded with happy bullets with positive effects. Use them to gather information from the girl. Explorations galore. As you roam through the rooms, you'll come across strange objects including squids and challengers as you play through the story. Yeah, squids that float in the air and don't need water. That's just weird. Ready for action. Each character has a set weapon type, handgun or assault rifle. Choose wisely. Three stage types, search and combat, purification and <laughs> bathing. Yeah, I think you know where this is going. Each with a different objective, sniper vantage points. Every stage has sniper vantage points where your bullets drastically increase in power. Stealth is key. The girls must never find you. Make sure to watch the sight and listen gauges so they don't catch you. Go shopping, get new scopes, weapons and costumes for the pixies to wear. Some of which are uh, leave little to the imagination, but uh, the less I say on that, probably the better. Especially since YouTube's most likely watching. Let me say this though, it is in fact M-rated. So yeah guys, basically these two pixies come down to Earth because people have less and less interest in getting married, so they got to research giant human girls because I don't know. But hey, it's a third person shooter, featuring up to three dorms might I add, with various scenarios and yeah, the girls are either hazards that could get in your way or even feature them as boss fights and some of these boss fights are uh yeah the less i say on that is probably the better just check the game out for yourself some of the hyper dimension neptunia girls make a cameo in this too oh and i should just mention here real quickly that for anyone who has a hacked vita out there there is in fact an english patch for this game and as another option here the nintendo switch actually got a full english official translation for this title i'm very jealous and so ends our Japanese import topic type thing. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> with some of these games, it uh, certainly was a thing. But guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Have you played any of these games? Did you know that there were English translations for some of them that I mentioned? I'd love to hear from you down in the comment section. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. This video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous people who help make this content possible, including Hero Acer, BMF, Phantom XRS, Gutter Drums, Hemdal Imbert, Saul Ramirez, Clayton Merlarkey, Adam Sondi, David Ray, Skullshire Tugel TCG, Rodrigo Vera, Larry Anderson, Wendy K, Adam Thury, Aaron Swanson, H Hitter, Per Sterner, Heston Joseph, Jelle, E Rock, Kevin Enright, Laurie Sweeney, JR, Jared Hado, Richard Cruz, Kyle Brooks, Joshua Williams, PS Vita S, Robert Sylvester, Hector Gonzalez, Smug Wolf, Michael O'Connor, Kayonko, Saqib Alam, Jamie, Matt Hargett, Dr. Super Artie, Crazy Cat, Mazgus, Romking, Colossus, Tasha Monti, Donut Valley, Ricardo Martinez, Eric DeWitt, Nintendo Switch at 2am, Juan M. Hermesio, Azumara, Burzen Mystery, 
1488 Dental, Robert Johnson, Makis Blob, Zecredo, B Mystery, Matt Fox, Frieden, Joseph Raismick, Reiko Star, Shin Snake, Nyurarashi, Milk Sama, Bushin Ryu Cat, and Ellen E. Wazuk. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and seeing your name on this end screen here, or if you wish to remain anonymous that can be provided too, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to do this down there. Can support in this manner? Don't worry about it. Likes and shares can help equally as much. So we went from tanks to outer space to outer space again, then back to Earth as pixies. Yeah, this video pretty much had it all.